Hey everybody, it's in the shop with Tom. You know, I've got a lot of requests. People have asked me, who is, who is in, sh in the shop with Tom? Now let me tell you who I am. I'm a contractor, husband, father. You guys can figure that part out. I like to keep it real, you know? I'm an avid mountain biker. I fucking, I'm into big trucks. You know, I, I keep it real. Who are you? That's what I get. You gotta ask yourself. Who's the real you? Now, people say, well, Tom, you put the Sunday rant out. Yeah, the, you know, the Sunday rant is just me ranting on different subjects. But, you know, from now on, you know, I, I feel like there's enough people on YouTube that give it the how to. And I got a couple of people that give me the their opinions on tools. That's cool. But now, from now on, Tom's gonna call people out when they're wrong. I'm almost gonna be like that guy on ESPN. Uh, I, I, I'm sure I won't get in trouble for saying his name. He's a good guy. He's one of my, he's a mentor of mine, uh, Stephen A. Smith. You know, he calls people out for what they are. You know, and there's people on YouTube that are just fake. They're phonies. You know, everybody's a wannabe uh, contractor. You know, you, you, I can easily show you pictures of stuff that I did or somebody else did and say, you know, look what I did. You know. I don't see a lot of that, uh, a lot of truth behind certain things. Some people I've checked out. You know, I just want to see who you know, who are we who are we talking to? Who are these people? You know, anybody can just throw a, a YouTube page up and, and start talking shit. You know, I figure what the hell. So I figure it'd be time for get the people to know who I am and where I come from, what my uh, credentials are. Like I said, I'm a contractor. I've been doing it probably for 20 years. Uh, probably did it for, let me see here. Yeah, I'd say 20 years. Full time, about 18. Uh, the first two years I, I, I had, a, I worked uh, worked at another job and kind of did it as a side thing, you know, just to see if it would take off. I always wanted to do my own thing. Uh, once I got out there and started doing my own thing, I liked it. I did get out for about a year and a half. Uh, I thought I had an opportunity that looked pretty good to me at the time and uh, you know wasn't in a good place personally at the time so I, I took the opportunity uh, didn't pan out the way I thought it was gonna pan out wasn't what I thought it was gonna be uh, the long-term end of it wasn't wasn't there and so I decided to come back to work for myself and I've been doing that for you know for almost, I don't know almost a year again got things back to where I want them uh, we've done big jobs, we've done small jobs. In the past, I've done real big jobs. But you know what? It's it sometimes a, a quote of a guy that I know said, keep it small, keep it all. You know what I mean? So when you start adding people and adding subs and adding this and adding that, you become, you go from being a contractor and doing what you like to do, is which is like get your hands dirty, you end up being a, a fireman. Putting out fires, kissing ass, you know, shaking babies, whatever the hell you got to do. So that's not really a lot of fun sometimes. So I, I kind of didn't like that. So I got back to being just me, and then me and, and me and another guy, which is fine, you know. Right now it's me, and I have a one of my sons is an apprentice. He works with me uh, part time, you know. And, and I don't I don't do more. I don't take more than I can do. I make more than enough to keep myself fed, keep you know keep my habit my uh, my I should say habits hobbies going, you know. We're, you know, we're in the mountain bike and we spend, you know, lots of money a year, probably in excess of five, six grand a year we spend on that. Always gonna buy something new, tool-wise. Again, I'll go in spurts, I'll spend tool, I'll buy tools, you know, sometimes I'll buy tools, you know, I'll keep buying stuff, you know. It seems like for a month or two, I'll just go on a spree. And then I won't buy nothing for two, three months, you know. As far as uh, opinions on tools, I've been using tools all my life. You know, I work for different, but pardon the, the noise here. It's a little chilly here in the Northeast, so I got the heater on, so you're gonna have to live with that. Uh, as far as tools, you know, like I said, I like different brands. I think that's a good thing. Uh, as far as as content-wise for me, I, try, I don't put a lot of content up as much as others. I don't think, I think if you over-content yourself, you're gonna, you know, people are gonna get sick of you. As I've noticed, I've, you know, you try to take lessons from every other YouTuber out there. I have a relation that my sister's a YouTuber. She doesn't put up videos every day. You know, sometimes she don't put videos up for a month. 
You know, there's a couple of really good sites that are really big sites. Sometimes they don't put videos up for a month. They put videos up when it makes sense to, you know, or when they want to do it. And that's that's kind of the way I look at it. You know, I do I do a, a Sunday rant. I think I just do that uh, just more for fun. You know, this is for fun for me. It's not for uh, monos, monos, uh, uh I can never say it. monetization. Monet, it's not for making money. How's that sound? You know, I don't really care about that. That's not my main goal. You know. My main goal is to promote my business. It's just more construction, 570-878-1993. We're in uh, Northeast Pennsylvania. You know, that's kind of the main focus. You know, we try to grow a little bit every, every day, every year. You'll, you, but I try to take things from other YouTubers. Lessons is what I call it. And the biggest thing I can, I've learned so far is less can be more. You know, post some videos three times a day. We're just doing it to get to get watch time. I know what you're doing, you know. You're trying to get mon your, your money, you know. But I mean, are you doing it for money or are you just doing it, you know? I don't know. But I figure, you know, it's, I talk a lot of shit. I guess I should back it up, and I will back it up. If somebody wants to call me out on something, call me out. You know, I'm here. I'm on Insta Instagram, in the shop with Tom on Instagram. I'm on Facebook under my own name, Tom Horn. Message me. You know, subscribe to me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, I should say. I don't do the Twitter thing. I don't like all that hashtag, at, this and that. I don't like it. Too too much thought process. <laughs> but, you know, like other YouTubers, I don't have this big uh, luxurious shop that is a show shop that, you know, they film in it once. You know, that's all they do is film in it. They don't really, you know, they don't produce any money out of it. They just film in it and then they, you know, it's supposed to look like they do work, you know. I mean, I'll give y'all a quick, I wouldn't say tour, but I mean, that's the Florida, the workshop, there's actually a piece of box there, I'm just breaking up, I mean, there's stuff laying around, I mean, it, that's this is the way it is, man, this is the way it's supposed to be, this is what a real workshop looks like, you know, now, I mean, we're, I'm in the process, now we're, I'm in the process of kind of redoing it, I do it when I have time, which has, I haven't had time much lately, I have another, uh, Another location that I keep materials at and keep extra tools, bigger tools, ladders are kept at. Uh, actually, another shop, I guess you can call it. It's a little bit smaller than this. And, and you know, I could put a truck in there if I need to. You know, uh, this particular location is here at my house. Uh, I had, I used to have another location, uh, but I felt that it was, it was just becoming, it was becoming a junkyard and I was using this shop anyways. You know, would I like to have a permanent one place, not here, and move everything there and, you know, be able to put the car back in this garage? Yeah, sure. Everything in here is mobile, so I can move everything out. And if I got to pull a car or the, or, the van, or the van or the truck in to do work on it or to clean it or to do whatever, then we'll do that. But as far as me sitting up at 8 o'clock at night worried about bullshit stuff, I don't worry about it, you know. You gotta keep you gotta keep life in perspective. People are getting hit by cars. People die every day. I mean, you could be here today stressing about bullshit, and tomorrow you're dead. So what difference does it make? You gotta live for today. You know, I mean, I know guys that are out there. They're contractors. They straight think about work all the time. They're working from seven in the morning till nine at night. You know, to, so they can make an extra twenty dollars. It doesn't make sense. They want to grow their brand. They'll grow your brand, but you're gonna be dead. You know, go out, work for yourself. Do you to be you? You know, I figured there's a little insight of who I am. You know what I'm about. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat sugarcoat anything for you. You're not gonna see no fancy intro. You're not gonna see no uh, bullshit stuff. You know, fancy graphics or, or look up at the cards here or here or here. I don't do any of that bullshit because I ain't got time for it. It's nonsense. So keep it real. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Uh, I definitely will be back next Sunday with Sunday's rant. That'll be a definite. There'll probably be one or one video during the week if I have time. If I don't, I don't. I don't owe anybody anything not to do it. Some people feel like they're obligated to it. I'm not obligated to anything. You know? All I gotta do is stay alive and pay taxes, I guess. But uh, mountain bike season's coming. So we're gonna be doing a little bit. Maybe doing a little spin-off spin videos with that. Uh, just picked up. I got two brand new uh, units I just got. Two bikes I just picked up. 
so I may be doing some videos on them, just a uh, uh, kind of a little bit of a review. You know, and then when I'm purchasing a uh, new mountain bike, I like to do a little review of uh, the product. A lot of good, a lot of good uh, mountain bike channels out there. They're very informational, so maybe we'll go that direction a little bit more during the summertime. Uh, as far as job site tours, uh, you might see one here and there. You know. Not like I, you know, when I first got into this, I, you got to feel your way of what you want to do. You know, I mean, I, I have a lot of, I made a lot of good friends. I enjoy it. I enjoy talking to those people. And uh, I actually watched, I have a couple of friends that, I, that I've made and a couple other friends that I, I should say. The best channels I like are the ones where the guys keep it real. They're just them. No bullshit, no, hunt, no fancy hoopla, dancing around and, you know, and, all that bullshit, it's, not, it's stupid. You know, you're making a fool out of yourself. But keep it real. That's what I say. There's a couple of channels, like I said, I, I like watching trucking. I, I like, you know, I like, I grew up in a family when my grandfather was a trucker, my uh, uncle was a trucker. So that kind of, I have, I have an interest in that. So I, I watch a couple of channels, and a couple of guys I do subscribe to are pretty real. You know, to keep it real, very educational. So those are, you know, things that are real, I like. I like when uh, there's one channel, there's a, uh, one guy, he's from up, up, up New York State, Adam, or Andrew, uh, I want to say Camarada, I've subscribed to him. He's basically this young kid who does excavating, and, and but he, he doesn't go crazy, he's no fancy nonsense, you know, he does edit his videos, but he doesn't, like, there's no fancy, you know, splashes and, and sound effects and crazy stuff, you know, it's just a kid with his friggin' excavator digging holes and doing his work and, that, and you know to me that that interests me because I can see how watching somebody you know be real so that's a big thing so the truth it, it, I'm not sure who said it somebody said it the truth shall set you free and that's the, the best thing so we'll catch up with you guys soon peace out like and subscribe if you want if you don't eh whatever right see you later catch you on the next one